I've been using Google Bard AI for the last couple of days and I have to tell you, I'm loving it. In this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways you can use Google Bard AI for marketing. If you work in social media, content creation, you're gonna love these five different ways. It's gonna make your life super easy. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Like and share this video so more people can see this. All right, now let's jump into this. So first of all, how do you access Google Bard? Bard.google.com. Uh, and this is what the interface is. This is where you're gonna enter your prompt. Uh, all the activity FAQs, uh, very, very simple and clean interface, just like Google, right? Uh, this is what we expect from Google. So let's talk about number one is building audience persona. So I'm going to show, uh, share this prompt with you. So audience, uh, create audience persona for marketing automation tools. So whatever your business is, uh, it could be real estate, it could be local business, it could be, so in this case, I'm just using the marketing automation tool. Uh, just just here's, use this prompt. You can put what your business here. And then here is the persona. See how detailed this is? The persona one, John Smith marketing manager. That makes a lot, a lot of sense because the tool is marketing automation tool. Number two, sales manager, that also makes sense. And I can also uh, generate it two. Uh, it will, if you want more, you can always, uh, can you, I'm gonna say, can you give me some more personas? And let's see, it might give me like two, three more personas. So very, very handy, especially if you work with new clients. Here you go, so you have two and three success manager, content manager, that makes a lot of sense. And also different interest, uh, their, their challenges, very, very detailed from Google Bot. I love this. All right, now let's talk about uh, number two. It's creating the article summaries or different posts for your social media. So let's say uh, here's the article. Let's say here's a long article and I don't have time to read this article. <laughs> how to repurpose uh, videos for social media. It's a long video. So you can use this prompt to have Googlebot AI summarize this for you. Oops, let me fix this, there you go. So here's the prompt. Can you summarize this blog article for me? And then give the link of the blog, blog article. And you have to remember Googlebot AI does have access to the internet. So it can look at all the content. And here is the, the short summary. Really, really cool. Now, one thing I'll point out, this is not just an article summary. You can also use this to create content. Let's say if this was your own blog article, you can use Google Bar to create social media content, social media posts, or even tweets. You can copy this, you can uh, use this uh, for your content on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. So that's number two, article summaries or posts from different links uh, using Googlebot. Let's talk about number three, uh, and it's uh, emails. You can have Googlebot create uh, pitch emails, cold emails for your client. So for example, I'm gonna give it this prompt. Can you create a pitch email for brand new video marketing tool? A lot of times if it's a new client or maybe it's a new tool that we have, we don't know what to say to the uh, to people when we want to reach out to them very first time. So you can use Googlebot for some ideas. So here you go, a high name. We are excited to announce this new tool. With this tool, you can do all of these. That's awesome. That's pretty uh, on point. And then here's the, you can add the link to your website. Here you go. So such a cool, uh, if you're like me, and I always struggle with the cold emails or the first email or the pitch email. So you can use Google Bard to give you the first draft and always you can uh, make changes to it too. All right, let's talk about number four. Number four use case is probably uh, one of my favorite. You can have uh, Google Bard help you with negative reviews. <laughs> That's one of the things that we always get negative reviews and we struggle with respond. How do you respond to the negative reviews, right? So you can use Googlebot AI. So here's my prompt. Can you help me write a response to this negative review? And here's the negative review. Your TV suck and customer service was bad. I will never shop with you again. So it looks like that was a really uh, uh, annoyed customer. So here's the response. I was sorry to hear your negative experience about the TV. It's really, really accurate on point again. And then here are some tips too. Be polite, professional, acknowledge the concerns, offer a solution, and then thank you. 
here is the response. So you can email this response to your customer or the person left a negative review, or you can also, if it's a public uh, a comment or review, you can also post uh, some of this. Obviously, one thing I always say, anything that you create with the, the AI, don't just blindly use it. Review it, make edits, make changes, make it fit uh, with your brand. All right, now, number five, Googlebot AI use case is doing competitive research. This is actually uh, another one of my favorite uh, thing you can do with Googlebot. My competitor is Dell.com. Can you tell me their top traffic sources? Imagine how powerful this is. You can sort of spy on your competition. You can find out what their top uh, traffic sources are. So here's the for Dell, uh, direct traffic 26%, organic search 41%, Social media, 7% display advertising. So it looks like they're not doing a lot of display ads at the moment. Really, really uh, awesome. So this is these are the five different things you can use Google uh, Bot AI if you work in marketing. Any questions, let me know before you go. Make sure you like this video and share this video so more people can see this. I'll see you in the next video now. Bye for now.